me how but most people call me lovely Mimi. I do dope nails and music, but I'm most known for my social media presence. I make funny little videos on Instagram, and I got over a million followers. I'm married to a fine-ass black man, and we got kids of every color. We decided to move to the Black Hollywood ATL to make a name for ourselves. We don't know anybody in town, but I ran into this cool-ass mom at a birthday party, and we decided to have a play date. Molly had other plans today and she couldn't come out, so me and Samari are just gonna spend some quality time with each other. Go get her, Jay! <laughs> I used to don't vibe with other moms, they're just not my peeps, but me and lovely Mimi, we clicked right away. She seems so cool and so fun, so we've been getting to know each other. Thanks for inviting us out here, because we really haven't met nobody since we've been here. It's all good, you know, I be, I'm alone in myself. I feature Instagram, I see you popping and all of that. Me! play up stereotypes. I was born in Vietnam, but my parents moved us to the DMV when I was three years old. So I'm raised a lot different than my old school parents. I grew up, you know, in the hood environment. Yeah. And like, I was going down the wrong path until I met my husband. And I've been doing really good ever since then. You married? Yes, girl, I'm married. Wow. And he really changed my life. I did a lot of juvie time, you know, like growing up my mother. I was in juvie, I was in juvie. Yes, girl, oh, you were? Yeah. Girl, we got so much in common that we got to learn. Juvie. was tough. My parents never understood me, so I was moved from group homes to detention centers, all as a juvenile. So we just taught each other how to be better and better. Even as an adult, trouble kept following me. Like, you know, I've been locked up a couple times growing up, you know? Speaking of jail cells, I had my share of, of jail cells, and just recently, I was in another one. Oh, man. I've been in the system, in and out, the whole thing, the family situation. I used to resent my parents, but as I got older, I. You know, I came to the realization that they just didn't understand and they just wanted the best for me. So y'all got a better relationship now? Yeah, we're a lot better. I came to the Glam Shop because I heard it was lit. I heard this is the spot you want to be at if you're out in the A. But I guess I was wrong because it's real stuffy up in here and the owner, Sierra, walk around like she got a permanent stick up her ass. You got your clients and stuff lined up? Yes, girl. All right. The other day was so peaceful without lovely Mimi around. But she's back, and I expect the circus show to start any minute now. The only reason I haven't kicked lovely Mimi ass to the curb is because Mariah wants me to give her a chance. And I'm trying. Let's hope this chick do not try me. Hey, girl. Where so? <laughs> Those other bitches from the strip club left a bad taste in my mouth, but lovely Mimi, she pretty cool. We have so much in common, and I know she's having a hard time with these boring birds at her shop. So I came through as promised to check things out. Where the Mariah bitch at? <clears throat> I don't know, girl. I think she went to make some errands or something. Or... Did, did you like um, Treasure? She just struck me as a, just a fake bitch. I know she threw some shade. Like, I was about to kill her. Yeah, you yeah, about to kill I her. That. Girl, I would never want you around my man because, girl, what you gonna do? You gonna throw that ass around my husband? Oh, no, I'm good. Girl, you can stay over there. What you feel about Diamond? That was real cute. That thing was fat that night, it wasn't was. it? <laughs> <laughs> I saw y'all a little bit, you know. Girls, put I don't that know, tongue I got, up. I got that put body. That I can't, I can't. <laughs> Unless you uh, imitate and dine, because Tommy don't lick nothing. Oh. I'm gonna lay back and please me type of bitch. We booty bumping? Do you booty bump with her? Me, me. Yes, girl. Hey, girl. What's I just... wrong? What did I do now? Listen, I just Hi. came over here to tell you, could you bring it down a couple of notches? Y'all just a little too loud, just a little bit. I'm trying my best to be nice, but all of this loud talk, booty bumping, circus activity has no place in the glam shop. We the only ones damn talking. Yeah. Everybody in here mute. What a fun. But y'all just like, the conversations that y'all having, it's just like a little over the top. If everybody else will talk, y'all won't know who we I talking mean, about. Hair it you know, the hair shop where you come in. But listen, I think your whole squad will feel more comfortable if they could just relax. We should go out. We should go out. We should go get a drink. You want to go get a drink with me? Me, you, Mariah, let's get together. I've never been through this. I knew Tommy.
me will feel the same way I feel about Sierra. How is anybody supposed to relax and unwind with the owner walking around like a patrol officer? Woo -woo. But maybe she'll loosen up when she get a couple of drinks in her system. Okay, since y'all say that I'm so uptight, we might do need to go have that little drink. Yeah, let's do that so we can get on a different level. The last thing that I want to do is hang with this girl, but those are the things that you have to do when you're the boss. Look what I drew, Sierra. I drew a Now you it's real a disrespectful. <laughs> you. Death, 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 death. I've been trying to keep a low profile since that almost brawl at Jock's comedy show with that thought Cardi Red. I'm not trying to have any more problems with the law. So I'm staying clear of anybody who's gonna make my blood boil you and sticking close to people who have my back for real. <laughs> Lovely Mimi really came through when things went down at the club and she was ready to rock with me, so I respect her for that. How you been? Ooh, girl, that was a mess at the comedy show. Jack is fighting really pissed off. Either way, I got your back, girl. Carly is not a threat to me by no means, and she know what I'm going through. That's the only reason why she's coming like she's coming. She knows she's secure. She knows I'm on, I'm on fine right now. Get the most. Anything I do right now, I'm being right. watched. Like, you know I can't move, so you using this to attack me. It's like, it was unnecessary. I know how it feels when trouble follows you, but for me and Tommy, sometimes trouble just shows up at our moment. Doorsteps. Have you talked to Dime since after the wine tasting when you threw the drink in her face? Nah, I haven't talked to her. Dime doesn't have a real place. She's just trying to befriend anybody. And I don't understand why you going back and talking to Jocelyn, why you feel like that's turning over a new leaf for you. Right, I don't know everything yeah. that went on with Jocelyn, but since I met her as she's pregnant, she's been really on this woman empowerment. Like, she's real serious. But I think that you and her will ever be able to make amends. You crazy. Like, uh, it's crazy that you asking me that. Would you? Ah, sh Would you? I went to jail. <laughs> I'm still fighting a case with her. If a motherfucker drops some charges on me, I could forget that. Like, it's lovely me, me for real right now. Me and this and rap will never be cool, ever. Jocelyn got me out on bond, so nothing is swept under the rug until the bitch dropped them charges. I'm just over the drama, even though it seems to follow me, even down to the fact that my mom came to my wine tasting, I feel like KK overstepped her boundaries. You know what I'm saying? And it so you, was like- you didn't know KK was inviting her? No, me and my mom, the last time I seen her, we, we fell out, like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't wanna no longer act like something hasn't happened and move forward because it's still there. Like, the hurt is still there because we never addressed it. Right. I just know I need to take a step further and really get to the bottom of, you know what I'm saying, why we don't have the relationship that I wish for us to have. I know I'm only gonna get one mother, but I'm just focused on the dime right now, and that's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you have to believe in yourself, Tommy. No matter how many names people call you, you know yourself what you're capable of. You're a beautiful person inside and out, and you can do it. Your oh, shop hey. is so cute. Hey, oh, thank you. Hey, y'all. I heard lovely Mimi is working at a new shop. I thought it would be nice to come through, show support, and let her know that we're done with the things that we had going on in our past. Who y'all want to get today? Petties. Don't do pedicures. Okay, have a seat on those two chairs over there. Let me get my girls. I'm trying to figure out why Treasure would bring this home wrecker into my shop. I didn't even think Mariah would ever even speak to me again after I told Sierra that Mariah was hoeing with her man. But business is business, even if it's from some thotty sad chicks. So how's things been going with you? I opened up my phone shop. Yay! So are you and Sierra friends now? Um, who? Oh, no. Mm-mm. Why would I be friends with her? Because you know that... Oh, when I dropped the bomb? Oh, my bad, Mariah. I forgot to tell you. I told Sierra. I don't even know why you told me. It was just a, it was a hot-ass mess. Like, that's your boss, Mariah. Like, you really have to step back, Mariah, and just be like, you know, I am wrong. I slept with a married man. So I have a question. This, okay, I understand. Like, I always keep telling you. I understand you coming from a married woman perspective, but we are kind of like the victims as women because men just think they can go off and have two and three situations. I think it's a lifestyle. Like, y'all lifestyle is completely different from mine. I think both of y'all stepped into Atlanta on the wrong feet. You know, just putting it out there that you guys both had messed with married men. You should know right from wrong and shouldn't just do it at all. We're in different lanes. I feel like you're married, you have kids. We live in two different lives. I can't hang out like Mariah. I can't hang out with you and go do ho like Oh, but why do we gotta be ho Damn, ho can I put on my shoes? Because I'm not in agreement and the comment like, bitch, I ain't never been uh, a hoe. How do you know that I'm a hoe? Don't ask me. Why are you still talking, Mariah? Because I want to, Mimi.
Hey yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right, subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe. All right. Cheer!